love following me on Twitter. They are from celebrities to normal, regular people on Twitter are dragging Meghan McCain for what she said about Joe Biden's policy and his religious beliefs and everything on The View today. Let's talk about it. Hi, welcome to JOA. If you're new to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you, if you do subscribe and you click the bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload. Please do subscribe. Please do click the bell. I'd appreciate y'all support on my weight loss journey. I mean, I don't look big, but when I tell y'all I'm fat, like my weight goes to my face and it goes to like my stomach. And I tell you, I got boobs. You see, like I'm trying to get rid of this. Like, you know, baby, I got I got a B cup. <laughs> So anyways, tonight on here, I'm going to be doing a live stream. Of course, Megan McCain is going to be part of it at 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then I'm going all the way back. I'm going back to Bego so we could talk about, you know, rated R stuff, more about commentary, political commentary, entertainment uh, commentary, what I'm going through in my life and just everything and anything um, at Bego Live. It's, it's Bigo. I've been saying it wrong, but who gives a damn? This is the icon right here. And follow me at JOA TV. You got to download it on your Apple Store or your or your um your Play Store, whatever phone, Samsung, Android, Samsung, iPhone, whatever you have. You know you smart. iPhone to Apple, Sam's Android is 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 the Play Store. Look up Bigo Bigo Live and follow me at JOA TV. I follow back so tonight. Y'all will miss the live stream after I get off of here on YouTube at eight thirty p.m. CST. All right, so. If you need a reminder of what Meghan McCain said, here we go. And were you surprised to, at these bishops coming forward like this? Um, I, I, there, it's not unprecedented. It happened to Andrew Cuomo as well when he came out uh, vociferously for abortion and there was threats that he would have his communion taken away. So it's not politically unprecedented. When it comes to the separation of church and state, the onus is on the government, not the church. The church is always going to try and impede, uh, you know, in, in every possible way they can and uh, influence in every possible way they can. Um, everybody's spiritual journey and relationship with God and their church is their own personal journey, and I don't try and proselytize uh, my spirituality on other people. But if you are a devout Catholic, as President Biden claims to be, abortion is a cardinal sin that can do deep spiritual harm to you. And President Biden had been um, supportive of the Hyde Amendment up until 2019 when he decided to run for president. And the Hyde Amendment means that the government would provide federal funding for abortion uh, or wouldn't. And now he is for it. And he has shown in this upcoming uh, budget that he is for it. And I think that sort of has been the threshold. I remember when it happened, um, having a conversation with a, a friend of mine who was close to him saying, for me, this is a deep paradigm shift for, for how I view President Biden, because if he's for the federal funding of abortion, and I know the women on this show disagree with me, but as far as I'm concerned, abortion is murder, and that means the government funding of killing of the unborn, and we have to, as uh, pro-lifers, fight for the rights of the unborn. And that is a doctrine that's as old as the Catholic Church itself. So he has to choose, uh, you know, if he his, his official stance, by the way, is he's politically opposed or personally opposed to abortion, but doesn't feel that he had the right to impose this view on the rest of the country. And it just for someone who claims to be pro-life. I never understand this argument. It's like saying I'm personally opposed to murder. But if you want to murder a little bit, it's fine because it's not my problem. It doesn't register with me. I don't get it. So it's ultimately up to the church. But he's walking a very fine line here. And ultimately, all of these issues are, are literally life and death for Catholics, for devout Christians. And he's going to have to ultimately talk to his creator when the time comes, as we all do, and and reconcile his politics with his with his personal faith. And and I I believe that he's doing grave spiritual harm to himself and harm to this country. McCain gets pissed off when celebrities with blue checks be reading her for filth on Twitter because she is trending. I'm on Twitter if you want to follow me at J-O- Jordan Jordan Show. All right, that's my ad. Or you can just search JOA. I'm sure I'll pop up possibly. But look. So Shannon Watts says, Megan McCain, abortion is murder. And she says, also Megan McCain, the AR-15 is by far the most gun in America. I'm not living without guns. If you're talking about taking people's guns, there's going to be a lot of violence. Exactly. The hypocrisy of it all. Um, Oliver Willis said, I'm going to start pulling at Megan McCain and insist that my political opinions are important because my father wrote the reggae hit Murder, She Wrote. And there's um, her training on a blog Joy Behar shades Meghan McCain and Republicans for being anti-abortion. 
but often supporting the death penalty. Exactly. Megan McCain says Biden is is doing, quote, grave spiritual harm. Sexually frustrated hypocrites waging war against Americans who are overwhelmingly pro-choice is a great way for the Catholic Church to keep hemorrhaging parishioners. Keep it up, Princess of Arizona. Proud to say I've never watched Megan McCain. If I wanted to watch garbage, I'd go stare at a effing dumpster. I am growing increasingly convinced that Megan McCain's hairstylist is a dog groomer. Of course, Justin Barragona, he's actually is a senior uh, editor at the Daily Beast, who is um, the first employer Megan McCain worked when she entered the media field. So, and they don't like her over there. David Wiseman says, let me guess, Megan McCain said something stupid today. And so it's just a whole bunch of people. Joel Walsh, who's pretty much out there journalist. He says, I'm pro-life, but where does Megan McCain get off imposing her faith on another human being's faith? Who is she to say what Joe Biden must say to his creator? None of us know the truth. So all of us should be humble enough to allow each of us to profess our own personal faith. You know, so there's just a whole bunch of people just reading her for filth on Twitter and I'm here for it. Megan McCain has a job because people pay attention to her, stop keeping her employed. So I mean, it's just like constant people. Oh, is Tiffany Cross reading her today? Oh yeah, so this is like an old post of Tiffany Cross reading Megan McCain for Phil. And it's like a constant, constant people reading that girl for Phil. Tara Dublin um, says, but tell us more about how you love your murder weapons, Megan McCain, you hypocritical nepotism poster child. <laughs> Broken Dad Defiant said, not sure why people keep tuning in to watch a nobody like Meg McCain. Disrespect Whoopi Goldberg that, the way she does, but I'm glad I don't watch that ish. So, I mean, it's like a lot of people. Akila Hughes says Meg McCain is classless. Tony Posnansky says Meg McCain blocked me three years ago when I talked when I called her a pile of SHIT. And I say see she's trending, so I'm just going to assume it's because she is a pile of SHIT. So... It's like a whole bunch of people reading her. The hypocrisy of it all. I'm not the one to join, judge people's spirituality, but I'm going to go ahead and judge people's spirituality. Girl, shut up. Please get your man in check. Get your alleged cheating husband in check. And although she did post a post about her man being sexy because how her, how him and her daughter Liberty be talking and shit like that, baby, I got tea on her damn husband and i know y'all been asking me to, to put it out there but when you have celebrities out there dog on twitter when you have credible journalists on twitter telling megan mccain that she is horrible on the view that she makes the view horrible to watch that she literally is full-blown nepotism that they don't really know why the view is not firing her <laughs> That should tell you something. That really should tell you something, okay? Like, this is a waste of damn time to be talking about Joe Biden's faith and 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 how he's pro-abortion, you know, politically. But in a Catholic church, you're supposed to be you're supposed to be pro-life. But okay, the Catholic Church is anti-gay, but at the same time, they got priests dicking down children all the time. They got priests dicking down other priests all the time. They got they got the church asking for donations. And baby, this is why I never donate to nothing, no church or nothing. Well, I mean, I don't go to church because y'all know I'm Arab, you know, Arabs. Well, I mean, there's Christian Arabs, but, you know, the mosque is, is was my thing back in the day. But I'm just saying a lot of these churches, they ask you for money, but that money sometimes go elsewhere. That's not really supposed to be the reasoning as to why you're donating. So just saying. But anyways, y'all, thank you so much for the support. Yes, I'm 228 pounds. No, I did not get strength training yet. Um, I'm, I'm supposedly going to be doing research on a personal trainer because I remember when I lost that 80 pounds, I was skinny fat and I didn't like that, but I was skinny, baby. I, was, I, I ran like my speed was on point to the point where I could run for the police. I'm just saying like the police are doing like, I can be running, running, running. Thank you, Toria. I saw you just follow me on BOGO Live. So please do follow me um, on BOGO Live at JOA TV. I'm, I'm going on tonight after I stream on YouTube at 8.30 p.m. CST. I'll be doing an hour show, and I'm going straight on Bogo Live for like two to three hours. So please do follow me there at JOA TV. I appreciate the support. I'll follow back. Thank you so much, Toria. You know, Toria, she's my A1. You know, A1, A1. You know, she, you know, she support. Thank y'all. Thank you, Queen J. Thank you, Ms. Banks. Thank you, Gmail. Thank you, Anna Joe. Thank you, RR. Thank y'all for the support so far. 
Um, and I'll see you guys on my live stream and the videos that I'm doing today because Megan McCain is a mess. Like she's literally trending for what she just said, you know. Anyways, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload deuces. Yay!